Lieutenant Colonel assumes power in Burkina Faso, President flees. The second in command of Burkina Faso's Presidential Guard, Lieutenant Colonel Isaac Zeta, said on Saturday he had taken power after deposed President Blaise Compa reportedly fled the capital. Forbes list of world's most powerful people 2014 released. The Forbes list of the world's most powerful people 2014 was released in which Russian President Vladimir Putin is on the top followed by Barack Obama and 11 Jinping. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi made his debut in the world's most powerful people list. He ranked 15th on the Forbes list. Top 5 on the list. Minus 1. Vladimir Putin. 2. Barack Obama. 3. 11 Jinping. 4. Pope Francis. 5. Angela Merkel. Scientists developed a new drug stefefic to replace antibiotics. Scientists for the first time developed an antibiotic-free drug named stefefic as an alternative to antibiotics. This new drug will aid in the fight against the antibiotics-resistant superbugs such as MRSA. About stefefic. Stefefic is based on a naturally occurring enzyme called endolysins produced by viruses and attacks infections differently to antibiotics. Unlike antibiotics, Unlike antibiotics, it does not destroy the harmless bacteria that live in the body. Endolysins enzymes exist in nature but the scientists made a modified version that combines the bit that is best at binding to the bacteria with another bit so that it is best at killing it. Stefefic is already used as a cream to treat skin infections and researchers hope to create pill and injectable forms in future. Healthcare experts looking for the alternative for antibiotics because 5,000 deaths in a year are linked to drug resistance diseases. Philelander of Rosetta mission landed on Comet 67P. European Space Agency's ESA Rosetta mission landed its Philae probe on the surface of Comet 67P slash Juryamov Gerasimenko on the 12th of November 2014. The landing site has been named as a Jelkia and is located on the head of the bizarre double lobed object. This is the first time in the space history that a probe landed on a comet. Pakistani actress Veena Malik sentenced to 26 years in jail for blasphemy. Pakistani actress Veena Malik was sentenced to 26 years in jail on the 26th of November 2014 by an anti-terrorism court of the Gilgit region of Pakistan. She was sentenced for blasphemy for appearing in mock Geo TV wedding scene in which religious song about the wedding of the Prophet Muhammad's daughter was played in background. Turkey to host G20 summit in 2015 and China in 2016. China will play host to the group of 20 G20 summit of the emerging economies in 2016. The decision was announced by Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott on the 16th of November 2014 in Brisbane. Klaus Werner Johannes elected new president of Romania. Klaus Johannes won Romanian presidential elections and for the first time in its history. Romania has one president of foreign German origin. Iohannis will replace the incumbent Traian Basescu. International students in U.S. at record high, China tops list, India on second. The number of international students studying in the United States is at a record high with nearly one-third of them coming from China. Followed by India that sent over over Lake students to the country in 2013 to 14. Ireta. U.S. XM Bank sign Mu on clean energy investment. Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency, IRETA and U.S. XM Bank today signed a memorandum of understanding, Mu on cooperation on clean energy investment. U.S. XM Bank will provide use $1 billion for medium and long-term loans to finance U.S. technologies, products and services utilized during commercial development activities within the clean energy sector by IRETA. India has world's largest youth population. UN report. With 356 million 10-24 year olds, India has the world's largest youth population despite having a smaller population than China, a latest UN report said today. Oxford Dictionary names VAP as 2014 word of year. The Oxford English Dictionary named VAP the word used for the act of drawing on an electronic cigarette instead of a burning stick of tobacco as its 2014 word of the year. The 2013 word of the year was selfie. Describing the decidedly less controversial self-portrait usually taken with a smartphone. India re-elected to UN Economic and Social Council. India has overwhelmingly won its re-election to the UN body on economic and social issues, garnering the highest number of votes in the Asia-Pacific group.
The 193-member UN General Assembly elected 18 members of the UN Economic and Social Council ECOSOC, to serve a three-year term beginning January 1, 2015. Manmohan Singh chosen for Japan National Award. Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has been chosen for one of Japan's top national awards for his contribution to India-Japan ties. Becoming the first Indian to receive the rare honor. Ninth East Asia Summit held in Naypyito, Myanmar. Ninth East Asia Summit was held in Naypyito, Myanmar on the 13th of November 2014. The summit was held on the sidelines of the 25th ASEAN Summit. The leaders of the forum discussed cooperation in areas of common concern particularly the non-traditional security issues such as wildlife trafficking, trafficking in persons, pandemics, climate change and disaster management. IBM launches new email service, Verse. Tech giant IBM has launched a new email application, Verse, for enterprises that integrate social media, file sharing and analytics to help increase productivity. The service stems from IBM's $100 million investment in design innovation and adds layers of analytics social media and security to the application as employees can access emails, calendars, file sharing, instant messaging, social updates and video chats through a single platform. International Buddhist Conference 2014 held in Nepal. The International Buddhist Conference 2014 was held from the 15th of November to the 18th of November 2014 in Lumbini, Nepal. It was held with an objective of preserving Buddhist culture and heritage. Airbus to sign deal with Delta for 50 planes. European aerospace giant Airbus is poised to sign a deal to deliver 50 long-haul carriers to U.S. Delta Airlines in a contract worth $14 billion at catalog price. China and Australia signed to move on bilateral Antarctic cooperation. China and Australia on the 18th of November 2014 signed a memorandum of understanding move on bilateral Antarctic cooperation. Mozilla Firefox replaces default Google search engine with Yahoo. Yahoo will supplant Google's search engine on Firefox's web browser in the U.S., signaling Yahoo's resolve to regain some of the ground that it has lost in the most lucrative part of the Internet's sad market. The five-year alliance announced on Wednesday will end a decade-old partnership in the U.S. between Google Incorporated and the Mozilla Foundation. Deutsche Bank won Custodian of the Year 2014 Award. The bank was awarded the Channel Islands Custodian of the Year 2014 single quote title, with the award being presented to Lisa Haggarty, Head of Custody and Fund Solutions for Deutsche Bank Channel Islands. The Custody Risk European Awards are organized by the Incisive Media Group. The award aims to identify the best companies in custody. Fund Administration and Technology Across Europe Chuck Hagel quits as U.S. Defense Secretary. U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel resigned amid reports of differences with President Barack Obama, who apparently wants to install a new leadership at the Pentagon as he enters the last two years of his presidency facing new global challenges like the rise of his 18th SARC summit concluded. Next summit will be held in Islamabad in 2016. With the issuing of Kathmandu Declaration, the 18th SARC summit concludes at Kathmandu this evening. Chairperson of the summit and Nepal Prime Minister Sushil Koirala declared the summit closed. The SARC Framework Agreement on Energy, Electricity, Cooperation was signed among the SARC member countries. Chairperson Sushil Koirala also announced that the 19th SARC summit will be held at Islamabad in 2016. Crime novelist P.D. James died at the age of 94. Crime novelist Phyllis Dorothy James on the 27th of November 2014 died at the age of 94 in Oxford. UK. She was best known for her series of detective novels starring the policeman and poet Adam Dalglish. Her novels include The Children of Men, The Murder Room and Pride, and Prejudice spin-off Death Comes to Pemberley. National Bangalore becomes Bangalore. Eleven other cities renamed. Shedding the colonial name, Bangalore today became Bangalore synchronizing with the State Formation Day, Karnataka Rajyotsava. In tandem, 11 other cities across Karnataka were also rechristened by the state government, casting away the anglicized names. Veteran Bollywood actor Soda Shivam Raprakar died. Known for his subtle mannerism, the versatile Soda Shivam Raprakar played varied villainous and comic roles in Indian cinema and thralling the audience with his unique style in a career spanning over three decades. Anita Kapoor is CBDT new chairperson. 
Senior IRS officer Anita Kapper has been appointed as the new chairperson of the Central Board of Direct Taxes, CBDT, the apex authority of the Income Tax Department. Hatzmu Kadhia replaces GSN who is Financial Services Secretary. Hatzmu Kadhia was appointed as the Union Financial Services Secretary, FSS, on the 3rd of November 2014. He is the 1981 batch I as officer of Gujarat Kadri. India Sri Lanka started joint military exercise. Mithra Shaktai. The Special Forces of Indian and Sri Lankan armies began a three-week-long mock war drill at the Uvakot Oil Commando Regiment Training School near Colombo in the island nation. The exercise will continue till the 23rd of November 2014. Mumbai recorded the largest number of internet users in India in 2014. Mumbai recorded the largest number of internet users in India in 2014. This was revealed by a study conducted by the Internet and Mobile Association of India, EMI. Indian economy to grow 5.4% this year, OECD. Paris-based think tank Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD has projected 5.4% growth for the Indian economy this year as global recovery continues at a moderate pace. PM launches Jeevan Praman, digital life certificate for pensioners. Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. On Monday launched Jeevan Praman, an Aadhaar-based digital life certificate for pensioners, in a move that could eventually benefit over accrued pensioners. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that after the push towards self-certification. This digital life certificate was another enabling mechanism which would benefit the common man. Manan Kumar Mishra and S. Prabhakaran re-elected to Bar Council of India. India-Israel joint venture missile Rasim successfully test-fired in Israel. Long-range surface-to-air missile, Lursum, the missile co-developed by India and Israel, was successfully test-fired on the 10th of November 2014 from a range in Israel. Lursum is called Barak-8 missile in Israel. Nepal, India agreed to form task force to install Petro pipeline. Nepal and India have agreed to form a task force for the installation of a pipeline to transport petroleum products to Nepal from India. A meeting of officials of the two countries in Kathmandu constituted a five-member task force to initiate process for the installation of petroleum products pipeline between Nepal and India. Infosys ties up with DreamWorks for new engineering solutions. Software major Infosys has entered into a strategic partnership with DreamWorks Animation SKG to develop new engineering solutions. Chennai to host global investors meet in May 2015. The Tamil Nadu government on Thursday announced that the Global Investors Meet Gim, would be held during May 23rd to 24th next year in Chennai to showcase the ample endowments and boundless potential of the state. Ravi Chopra, director of famous TV show Mahabharata, died at 68. Ravi Chopra, director of famous television TV show Mahabharata, died in Breach Candy Hospital, Mumbai on the 12th of November 2014. He was 68. He was suffering from lung cancer from last few years. WIF hosted the 29th India Economic Summit in New Delhi. The World Economic Forum, WIF, in partnership with the Confederation of Indian Industry, CHI, hosted the India Economic Summit in New Delhi from the 4th of November 2014 to the 6th of November 2014. Radio Kashmir Jammu won Gandhi and Philosophy in Public Service Broadcasting Award 2014. Radio Kashmir Jammu on the 12th of November 2014 won prestigious Gandhi and Philosophy in Public Service Broadcasting Award 2014 for its program Jeevan Rekha. Jeevan Rekha is a program based on the live broadcasts done in the wake of flood situation in Jammu and Kashmir by Radio Kashmir Jammu. Farhan actor appointed as UN Women Goodwill Ambassador for South Asia. Bollywood actor Farhan actor appointed as UN Women Goodwill Ambassador for South Asia. Farhan is the first male ever to be chosen as a goodwill ambassador in the organization's history. India successfully test-fired Dhanush ballistic missile. Surface-to-surface -surface nuclear capable Dhanush ballistic missile was test-fired from a naval ship off the Odisha coast on the 14th of November 2014. Dhanush. A naval variant of India's indigenously developed Prithvi missile was fired from a ship in the Bay of Bengal by the Strategic Force Command SFC of the Defence Force. Financial inclusion, all households in Kerala, go or get bank accounts. Giving a boost to the center's financial inclusion agenda, Kerala and Goa have become first states in the country with every household having at least one bank account. Union government launched the nationwide Balswak to mission. 
the Union government launched the National Balswak Commission in New Delhi. On the occasion, Union Minister of Women and Child Development Manika Sanjay Gandhi also released a book on Balswak Commission prepared by NIPD. Apart from this, Union Human Resource Development HRD Minister Smriti Irani, who launched the Balswak Commission at the National Bal Bhavan also launched Udon Program for Girls. DD National to be relaunched with tagline Deshka Apna Channel. Prasar Bharti announced to relaunch DD National with new tagline Dodarshan National, Deshka Apna Channel. Also, new colors of purple and pink are added with a fresh palette of programming. India and Republic of Korea signed MU on technical cooperation in the railway sector. India and Republic of Korea signed on a memorandum of understanding, MU, to facilitate technical cooperation in railway sector between the two countries. The MU was signed between the Union Ministry of Railways of India and the Ministry of Land Infrastructure and Transport of Republic of Korea. Sale Chairman C.S. Verma received MJRD Tata Award for Excellence in Corporate Leadership. New Director Nominated on RBI Board. The government has nominated Hasmu Kadhia. Secretary, Department of Financial Services, as the Director of Central Board of Directors of the RBI. Minkar.com named Kangana Ranat as its brand ambassador. Leading online fashion store Minkar.com in the month of July 2014 named Bollywood actress Kangana Ranat as its brand ambassador. As part of her new assignment, Kangana will feature in some of the promotional initiatives by the brand. India, China joint military exercise hand in hand begins in Pune. The 4th India China joint training exercise hand in hand 2014 began at Pune in Maharashtra yesterday. The aim of the joint exercise is to acquaint both the armies with each other's operating procedures in the backdrop of counter-terrorism environment. A model to set up RS-200 Kur unit in West Bengal. Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation GCMMF, the maker of a products, is setting up a unit in West Bengal for an investment of around 200 Kur, according to Krishna Gupta. Managing Director of West Bengal Industrial Development Corporation, GCMMF is taking up 16 acres of land at the St. Grail Food Park in Howrah District in the state. Tamil film director Rudraya Chakulang Game pass away. Veteran Tamil film director Rudraya Chakulang Game died on the 19th of November 2014 in Chennai following a brief illness. He was 67. In India and Australia signed five pacts and agreed on early closure of civil nuclear deal. India and Australia on the 18th of November 2014 signed five pacts on social security, transfer of sentenced prisoners, combating narcotics trade, tourism, and arts and culture. Five pacts are, the social security agreement, agreement concerning transfer of sentenced prisoners, move on combating narcotics trafficking and developing police cooperation, move on cooperation in the field of arts and culture, move in the field of tourism. Pandit Jasrai conferred with Sumitra Sharad Ram Award 2014 for Lifetime Achievement. Veteran classical vocalist Pandit Jasrai was on the 17th of November 2014 conferred with the Sumitra Sharad Ram Award 2014 for Lifetime Achievement. Sumitra Sharad Ram Award. The award was instituted in 2011 to honor stalwarts in art and was named after Sumitra Sharad Ram who founded a Shriram Bharatiya Kala Kendra in 1952. Veng Sarkar to receive Chi Lifetime Achievement Award. Indian American Nia Gupta won International Children's Peace Prize 2014. Nia, an 18 year old Indian American from Philadelphia, was awarded for her work to help orphans in India and other vulnerable children. Nia became the first ever American to be awarded with the prize. She was awarded the prize by Nobel Peace Laureate Desmond Tutu, the patron of the Dutch Children's Rights Organization in The Hague, Netherlands. Axis Bank launches smart self-service terminal. Axis Bank, India's third largest private sector bank, has launched a smart self-service terminal that enables customers to deposit as well as withdraw cash from the same machine. Tiro chosen for Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace. Disarmament. Indian Space Agency Aero will be conferred the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development for a 2014 and recognition of its contribution in strengthening international cooperation and peaceful use of outer space. Assam Zoo set to become the first zoo in world to have the critically endangered pygmy hog. Rampal Singh Jadin arrested by Haryana police from his ashram and Hisar. Rampal Singh Jadin was in news because he was arrested by Haryana police on the 19th of November 2014 from his fortified Satlak ashram in Hisar of Haryana.
He is famous as Saint Rampel and is a self-styled godman. Go Green, Railways to set up 26 MW Windmill. Railways, one of the biggest consumers of energy, is moving towards harnessing green power with a 26 MW Windmill proposed to be built in Rajasthan. The project, the biggest renewable energy initiative by the National Transporter, is to be set up in Giazamur at a cost of RS 150 crore and targeted to be completed in about nine months. Kodak Mahindra acquiring Visya Bank. Kodak Mahindra Bank, on Thursday, announced its decision to acquiring Visya Bank in an share deal. Kodak Mahindra Bank informed the BSE after market hours that the board of directors of the company had considered and granted its approval for the amalgamation of Invisio Bank with Kodak Mahindra Bank. Spital lent $1 billion to a Donny Group to build Australian coal mine. The infrastructure conglomerate, whose founder, Gautama Donny, has signed a memorandum of understanding for a loan of up to $1 billion from the SPI for the mine, rail and port project, which it aims to build by end 2017. RBI allows FIS to buy equity in Yes Bank. The Reserve Bank today said FIS can buy equity shares in private lender Yes Bank as shareholding by foreign investors has gone below the prescribed limit. The RBI has removed Yes Bank from its caution list of monitoring foreign investment following the dip in shareholding by foreign investors below the prescribed limit. Exum Bank to set up RS1500 CR fund to assist shipbuilding industry. To give a boost to shipbuilding in the country. The Export-Import Bank of India, Exim Bank, is planning to set up a dedicated RS1500 crore fund with government support. Tech Mahindra acquires US-based LCC for $240 million. Tech Mahindra Limited, India's fifth largest software services exporter, has announced that it has signed an agreement to acquire US-based Lightbridge Communications Corporation, LCC, for $240 million. LCC is a global network services leader. The transaction is expected to close by fourth quarter of Tech Mahindra's fiscal year 2015. Government approves new RS 43033 CR Rural Electrification Scheme. Government approved RS 43033 Kur Rural Electrification Scheme Dian Dialapadia Gram Jodi Yojana. The scheme will replace the existing Rajiv Gandhi Grameen Vidyuta Karan Yojana RGV. India's first aircraft carrier slips into history. Work has begun on scrapping the country's first aircraft carrier. Vikrant. Built for the British Royal Navy as HMS Hercules in 1943, it was acquired by India in 1957 and saw action during the India-Pakistan War in 1971, playing a key role. Vikrant was auctioned to a shipbreaker for RS-63 Kur this year. Mumbai Zeb Commercials PVT Limited won the bid. Deepak Gupta appointed as chairman of UPS. Deepak Gupta was appointed as chairman of Union Public Service Commission, UPSC. He was appointed as chairperson of UPSC by the President Pranab Mukherjee in accordance with the Article 316 1 of the Constitution. He replaced Rodney Rajan, who completed her term on the 22nd of November 2014. Adani Power to buy Avanta's Corba planned. Crampton Greaves has said Avanta Power and Infrastructure Limited, a pill in which it holds an equity investment of about 23.14%, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Adani Power for 100% sale of a Pills Corba West Power Company Limited, KWPCL. Bill Altan Weir Huan Sheikh Tibet First Book Prize 2014. Lahore-based author Bill Altan Weir on the 24th of November 2014 won the 2014 Sheikh Tibet First Book Prize for his novel The Scatter Here is Too Great. Shah Khan named as brand ambassador of DHFL. Housing finance company DHFL announced to name Shah Khan as its brand ambassador. DHFL is the second largest housing finance company of India. Kathak legend Sitara Devi passes away. Kathak Queen Sitara Devi died at a hospital in Mumbai today. She was 94. Born in 1920 in Kolkata, Sitara Devi drew from the themes poetry and choreography collected by her father in her choreographies. She also got inspired from the environment around her, whether it is a town or a village. Adani Group owned Dham Report. Adani Group owned Dham Report Company Limited, DCPL, would invest around RS 7000 crore for expansion of cargo handling facility. An official of the company said today, Gujarat-based Adani Group bought out L&T and Tata Steel shares in the company in March 2014 at an enterprise value of RS 5,500 crore. Nepal gives Indian firm green light for $1 billion hydroelectric plant.
Nepal has given an Indian company permission to build a 900 megawatt hydropower plant, government officials said on Monday. The two countries will sign an agreement for the $1.04 billion project. Indian Railways Team in China for Delhi Chennai Bullet Train An Indian Railways Team is in China to chalk out plans for conducting feasibility study to build the 1,754 kilometers long Delhi Chennai High Speed Train Corridor. World's second largest bullet train line. Greek Prasad is set to be appointed as the next chairperson of the Press Council of India. Former Supreme Court Judge Greek Prasad is set to be appointed as the next chairperson of the Press Council of India. China beats India in November fee inflows. HSBC. Foreign institutional investors warmed up to Asian equities in November as the region recorded net inflows of $5.3 billion, out of which India attracted $1.4 billion, says a report by HSBC. Modi proposes Sark Business Traveler Card. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday proposed the Sark Business Traveler Card for making it easier for traders and merchants in the region to travel and access one another's markets. State Bank of India to launch Islamic Equity Fund. State-owned bank will launch an Islamic Equity Fund next month aimed primarily at the country's 170 million Muslims. The Securities and Exchange Board of India recently allowed the government-owned State Bank of India BSE 0.41% and three mutual funds to launch Sharia funds. Kotak Mahindra Bank is the first bank to fully own an insurance business. Kotak Mahindra Bank 0.07% on Tuesday became the first bank to get the Reserve Bank of India's RBI's permission to set up a wholly owned non-life insurance company. The bank is already the promoter of a life insurance company in partnership with Old Mutual of South Africa. Canara Bank partners Micro Energy. Canara Bank has signed a memorandum of understanding with Micro Energy Credits Corporation to finance bank customers buying energy efficient green products such as cook stoves, solar home systems, biogas digesters, and water purifiers. The partnership has identified Chitradurga districts and Karnataka to promote such green products on a pilot basis. Assam Goaranyak won UN Lighthouse Activities Award. Assam Goaranyak won UN Lighthouse Activities Award. Aranyak, an Assam based go working for the conservation of nature and a Kathmandu based International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, ISIMWAD, on 25 November 2014 won the United Nations Lighthouse Activities Award for the year 2014. Ariana Government reduced retirement age of government employees from 60 to 58. Haryana government reversed the retirement age of government employees from 60 to 58 years. President penned a book titled The Dramatic Decade on 1970s Era. President of India Pranab Mukherjee penned a book titled The Dramatic Decade, The Indira Gandhi Years. The book has been published by Rupa and will be released on the 11th of December 2014. PNB announces free ATM usage for customers. RBI issues final norms for payment. Small banks. Floor capital set at RS 100 crore. The Reserve Bank of India has issued final norms for payment banks and small finance banks that would allow mobile firms and supermarket chains, among others, to enter the banking arena to cater to individuals and small businesses. The move aims at deepening financial inclusion and boost saving habits who are eligible. Eligible promoters for a small bank include resident individuals slash professionals with experience in banking and finance and companies and societies. Existing non-banking finance companies NBFCS. Microfinance institutions and local area banks can also opt to convert into a small bank. The RBI said proposals from large public sector entities and industrial and business houses, including NBFCS promoted by them, will not be entertained to set up small banks. Anup Mishra appointed as new Secretary General of Lok Sabha. Historian Tapan Ray Kavyuri died. Tapan Ray Kavyuri, a distinguished historian of modern India's economic and social history, died on 26 November 2014 at his home in Oxford, England. He was 88. Namsai became the 18th district of Arunachal Pradesh. Namsai on 25 November 2014 officially became the 18th district of Arunachal Pradesh. The Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh Nabam Tuki made the declaration. Sachin Tendulkar unveils his autobiography Playing It My Way. Sachin Tendulkar's much-awaited autobiography Playing It My Way was on Wednesday launched in the presence of some of his former teammates.
celebrities and family members at an engrossing ceremony in Mumbai. Tendulkar's book to be published in regional languages. Sania Mirza appointed as UN Women Goodwill Ambassador for South Asia. United Nations UN Women on the 25th of November 2014 announced the appointment of Indian tennis superstar and youth icon, Sania Mirza, as its Goodwill Ambassador for South Asia. The organization is dedicated to gender equality and women's empowerment. She became the first South Asian woman to be appointed as a Goodwill Ambassador Bchi imposes claim worth 250 CR on WIB. The Bchi has slammed a damaged claim worth 250 crore on WIC West Indies Cricket Board following their team's withdrawal midway through the India Tour and threatened to take legal action if the board didn't respond within 15 days. Lewis Hamilton overtake Nico Rosberg to win US GP. Lewis Hamilton caught and passed Mercedes teammate Nico Rosberg to win the United States Grand Prix and extend his world championship lead. Angelo Matthews named as captain of the ICTEST team of the year 2014. The IC on Wednesday announced its test and OD teams of the year, as chosen by a specially appointed selection panel, chaired by the X cricket committee chairman and former Indio captain Daniel Kumbal. Pacer Bhuvneshwar Kumar to get Polyam Rigor Award. Pacer Bhuvneshwar Kumar will get the Polyam Rigor Award for the 2013-14 season. Mark Ramparakosh hired as England batting coach. Former England international Mark Ramparakosh has been hired as batting coach for the national team with immediate effect. Cristiano Ronaldo received 2013-14 European Golden Boot Award. Real Madrid forward Cristiano Ronaldo received his 2013-14 European Golden Boot Award on 5 November 2014 at the Melia Castilla Hotel in Madrid. Virat Kohli quickest to reach 6,000 runs in Otis. Star batsman Virat Kohli on Sunday became the quickest cricketer to reach 6,000 runs in Otis. Bettering legendary West Indian Vivian Richards record during his 53-run knock in India's third OD against Sri Lanka. Nico Rosberg wins Brazilian Grand Prix. The 29-year-old German driver Nico Rosberg took full advantage of one mistake by Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton to win yesterday's Brazilian Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. Brazil and keep alive his hopes of winning this year's World Championship. Kohli joins star ambassadors for 2015 World Cup. India's Virat Kohli joins an elite list of star ambassadors to provide necessary support in the build-up to the EC 2015 World Cup to be co-hosted by Australia and New Zealand between February and March. Johnson named it Cricketer of the Year. Australian fast bowler Mitchell Johnson was on Friday declared it Cricketer of the Year as well as the EC Test Cricketer of the Year. Novak Djokovic wins ATP Finals after Roger Federer pulls out due to injury. World number 1 Novak Djokovic was crowned champion of this year's ATP World Tour Finals last night after Roger Federer withdrew from the title clash due to a back injury. Ace Shuttler Snen Wall. Case Rakanth win China Open singles titles. In a historic day for Indian badminton, top Shuttler Snen Wall and Case Rakanth on Sunday clinched the women's and men's singles title of the China Open Super Series premiere in Fuzhou, China. Indian hockey coach Terry Walsh quits. India's hockey coach Terry Walsh today quit from his position after his contractual talks with Hockey India and the Sports Authority of India Sai, broke down. World Tour Golf Championship gets underway in Dubai. Lewis Hamilton wins Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and Formula One title. Lewis Hamilton has won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as well as the Formula One Racing Championship title of the year. Philippe Massa came second in the race. It is Hamilton's 11th win of the season. And he takes the crown by 67 points from Nico Rosberg. World Chess Championship, Carlsen retains title against Anand. Magnus Carlsen asserted his supremacy over Viswanathan Anand for the second year in running as the Norwegian retained his world championship title after defeating the Indian challenger in the 11th game. In Sochi, Russia on Sunday. Switzerland defeated France to win first ever Davis Cup of Tennis. Switzerland have won their first ever Davis Cup tennis title. In the best of five tie, at Lille, yesterday, they beat hosts France by securing an unbeatable 3 1 lead. Michael Phelps named Male Athlete of the Year at the 2014. Michael Phelps was crowned Male Athlete of the Year at the 2014 USA Swimming Golden Goggle Awards on 24 November 2014. He was awarded with the title despite being suspended from competition for six months after a drunken driving arrest in September 2014 Indian cyclist Deborah creates history.
wins four goals in Track Asia Cup. Miss Deborah, a tribal girl from Andaman and Nicobar Islands has created history at national level by winning four gold medals in the Track Asia Cup Cycling Championship 2014 which concluded at Indira Gandhi Stadium. Australian cricketer Phil Hughes dies of injuries. Once compared to the great Donald Bradman, Australia Test cricketer Philip Hughes passed away today in Sydney following a fatal injury he had incurred in a Sheffield Shield match on Tuesday. Hughes would have turned 26 on Sunday. During this game for South Australia against New South Wales, 